Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Mai, a local Japanese cooking and dessert expert. Today, I will teach you how to make kabocha squash creme caramel. Kabocha squash is another word for Japanese pumpkin. This is a delicious fall dessert that your family and friends are sure to love. Whether you're looking for a perfect Halloween party dessert or an easy to make pumpkin recipe, you've come to the right place. I'm gonna start by greasing the cake pan with butter. Here is an easy way to butter the pan using plastic wrap. Let's make caramel. Add granulated sugar and room temperature water to a pan. Heat over medium heat and keep shaking the pan until the caramel turns into golden brown. Keep close attention to the color. When the caramel turns in dark brown, turn off the heat and add to hot water. Shake the pan until they are well combined. Be careful with splashes when you add too hot water. Pour the caramel to the cake pan. Tilt the pan to make sure the caramel covers the entire bottom of the pan and let it solidify. Now I will make creme caramel mixture. The skin is hard and thick. You can microwave for 2-3 to three minutes to soften the skin. With a spoon, scoop out the seeds, then peel the skin off the squash. Your kabocha should be stable when you slice the skin off. Then cut into about 1 inch cubes. If you can't find kabocha squash, you can use any sweet squash or a canned pumpkin puree. Place the squash in a microwave safe container and cover with a plastic wrap. Microwave for about 5 minutes at 500 watt until squash are easily pierced with a skewer. Be careful with steam heat when you uncover the plastic wrap. If you don't have a microwave, you can steam or boil until they are tender. Transfer the squash to a blender or food processor. If you don't have a blender, mash the squash with a masher. Add to half of the milk and blend until the squash are completely processed. If you add all of the milk at one time, there may be some unprocessed squash left. Then add the rest of the milk, eggs, sugar, heavy cream, and blend it again. It should be well mixed, but I don't want too much forms, because a layer of forms will affect the cooking and the texture. If you have too much forms in your blender, let it set until they are reduced. Pour the mixture to the cake pan through a sieve. With a paper towel, remove the forms on the surface. I'm gonna place it in a preheated oven now. Pour hot water into an oven tray. The water level should be about 1 inch or 2 centimeters. Heat for about 40 minutes. Then turn off the heat.
keep in the oven for another 20 minutes and let it continue to cook with the heat in the oven. Take out from the oven and let it cool down. Chill in the fridge. Let's serve on a plate. Insert a knife in between the creme caramel and the cake pan. When the caramel comes out, place a plate on top and flip over. Kabocha squash creme caramel is complete now. Thank you for watching Miss Bagashi TV. See you in my next video. Bye bye.